Hey there, I found a new interesting puzzle to show you today. It is called 369. The name comes from the size of the puzzle. It is three centimeters wide, six centimeters tall, and nine centimeters long. So 369, quite easy. It has, as I can see, three parts. There is another one, fourth part, and there is a bottom piece, which is part number five. The goal of the puzzle is to open the box. It is kind of a puzzle box puzzle, but it is a sequential discovery puzzle box. So I will find some tools within the puzzle that will help me to solve it. This puzzle has 29 magnets inside, and I guess they all lock all the parts inside. Oh, except for this piece. I can remove it, but I can feel that it is held by magnets. So if you like the 369 puzzle and you want to buy it, I will put a link in the video description and if you want to see my attempt to solve this puzzle, keep watching the video. The 369 is a 3D printed puzzle. All parts have the same color and as I already found, there is one piece that I can remove right from the very beginning. It has, oh, it has six, seven magnets in this piece. There are four more here, so it is 11 in total. Maybe counting magnets will help me to solve the puzzle. Let's see what else I can do. There are no magnets inside, <laughs> but it looks like there is a smiley emoji printed on the bottom. That is quite fun. Let's see what else I can do. There is a sign here that says up and there is a star. There is another one up and a star and it says shake. Do I have to shake the puzzle? I don't really know. It, it was actually written on the note that comes with the puzzle that no forcing, no banging, no crazy moves are involved in solving the puzzle. So I have to find quite logical way. And I guess it will be like tons of magnets. See, similar to the traffic light puzzle that I solved a couple of months ago on my channel. By the way, the same puzzle designer. So I have to just find a way how to unlock all the locks oh wait a second i can hear something is moving and something is repelling this magnet i guess there is another magnet inside maybe it is holding this piece let's see oh yeah this one is removed there is an opening here and i see there is a green piece inside yeah when i put the magnet next to it it repels it and it opens the lock okay maybe the same happens on this side yes yeah, something is moving let's try to remove the piece oh yeah the piece is removed and again the same green part which i can actually move with the magnet okay but i have to open this part as well i have three nine and six here what if i try to put them three here and nine here but i guess they are oh they are almost the same but there are magnets here and here they are on different sides of the piece as you can see but when they are both inside they are kind of holding something down there i guess or maybe they are needed to unlock some other magnets. I have no idea. Let's try to shake since it says shake. Maybe spinning. No, doesn't help. Let's try to spin it this way. No, doesn't help. Oh, by the way, let's count the magnets again. We had four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we have 14, 15, 16, 17 magnets. And there is a green piece, 18, 19 magnets so far. So I have to find 10 more magnets. And I guess they are somewhere inside. Maybe I can use this part again. Oh. When I move the magnet here, I feel something is moving inside. 
and on this side. Okay, so I guess there are two locks, one on this side, one on this side. Mm. Oh, maybe these locks are what I'm looking for. If I put it back inside, let's see. Oh, I can definitely hear when I put the piece down that magnet is trying to lock on something. Okay, so maybe there is a lock down here which is locked by this magnet. But if... Oh, maybe that's why the magnets are on different size, sides in these pieces. So maybe if I put a different piece inside, the magnet will be on the other side. Oh, but I can put it this way. Oh, let's see. So now I have to release that green piece, put this part inside, and maybe the magnet, it will be facing the opposite direction and it will be repelling the uh, other magnet that will unlock that piece. Okay, let's try with this one. Nope, doesn't work. Maybe I have to... Oh, there are two magnets on this piece. Maybe I have to use them as well. So it was six. Oh, done, done, unlocked. Ah, not all the way. What's, what is happening? I don't know. I can't remove the whole piece. Yeah, I can definitely see another green piece. And for some reason it got stuck to this part. And I have no idea how to release it. Okay, the brute force <laughs> helped me a little bit. And I guess, yeah, when I was, oh, there are too many holes here. So when I was removing this part, the green magnet actually went right into this part and it locked the piece. Okay, now I have to put everything back inside. There are too many magnets. There are red, blue, and green. Which one goes where? Okay, the, the red ones were here on top. The blue, I guess the blue magnets were on the bottom. Now I have to put the green back inside here and here. And hope that nothing will ruin my attempt to lock it since the magnets will keep falling out. I guess I have to put something inside. Oh, okay. Now the red magnets are held inside. I can just put this part inside and it will lock everything. Ta-da! This part is locked. Okay. And I have just to put the rest of the parts back inside. This one goes here and the last piece goes here. Okay. There was quite a fun puzzle. A lot of magnets and they kind of make a lot of troubles especially when you're removing the, the last part but quite a fun puzzle and i don't know if it's a real puzzle box i guess you can't put anything inside maybe just a piece of paper since the mechanics of the puzzle holds the entire space inside but anyways if you like the 369 puzzle and you want to buy it or you want to try some other puzzles from the same puzzle designer i will put a link in the video description Thank you for watching. See you next time.